Hey, I'm Tom. And I'm Tan. Welcome to episode 110 of Bird Squawk. We are two weeks away now from the draft. When we're back next week, it's one day away. So we are gearing up here to the draft. Lots of news. Howie and Saucy talk today. Some big time wide receiver comes up available. We'll get all into it now. I guess we'll start with Saucy and Howie kind of laying the land of what's going on before the draft here and kind of sounding like they know what they're doing. Yeah, it kind of feels like they have a plan. And, uh, you know, for what that's worth with Howie, who knows, maybe he learned something from last year's draft. But um, kind of sounds like, you know, they got option A, B, and C. And, and if things go their way, they're they're set to do something. If, if something gets messed up, they're set to do something else. But who knows? You know, when all those when all the fireworks start happening on draft day, who knows what they're going to do? I mean, me personally, I, I would love to see another wide receiver and a defensive player. Yeah, you know? and he, he did make a note. He did say that it is a good linebacker draft. He did say that. So I don't know if that's tipping his cat maybe a little bit or just trying to make us feel better. It could be a smoke screen too. There's who a knows? lot that could be moving on. And as we get closer, still... Could not tell you what's happening or where they're at. You know, but I, I mean, we were talking today a little bit about, you know, the wide receiver money range for yep. veterans is just going through the roof. I mean, the, the it seems like the way to build your wide receiver group is through the draft. I mean, yeah, I mean, take we... another weapon, get them on that rookie deal. Yeah. Make them earn it. Yep. And, and let's go from there. Yeah, I mean, the Chris Olave thing has kind of grown. It, it really is a big question mark with a lot of these positions that the Eagles have been looked at as taking someone in the first round because there's a lot of depth in those positions. Linebackers deep. Wide receivers deep. That's where the, the two big positions that I've seen, even the defensive lines deep, the main positions the Eagles have been tied to so far are deep. So it kind of leaves them where are they going to be? And when you're talking about rookie wide receivers, you got to talk about the guy that becomes available today and kind of stir the pot and everyone's going to be wanting to do different things, Debo Samuel. Yeah, I mean, but he's going to come with a big price tag, you know? That's the thing. He's on the downside. So he's the opposite of what, what happens, right? He's on the downside last year of his rookie deal, wanting that money. Mm -hmm. He wants that Brinks truck to back up because he's seen – What's going on yep. with, with uh, yeah, Devontae Adams, Adams Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill, all those guys. The dude, Kirk. Yeah, from the know, Jags. I think the Jags and Dougie just blew the market wide open. You yeah, know? I, it, it really, I, there was rumblings and obviously anything with a pretty good wide receiver. The Eagles name is automatically thrown in it. Um, my big thing is. I don't know. I mean, you look at the guy. I mean, st standout season last year. He is a stud. Can do it all. Runs the ball. Catches the ball. Can even throw the ball. He can do a lot. He's a versatile player. But the injuries, if that was his first year, really blowing up. There's a lot of, un like, is he going to put that together? And I know he's young. I think he's only 26. And they like a lot of moves this offseason. They have the capital. They have the cap. They have the need. It's just, are they going to do it? I personally I, don't think they are. I don't. I they are going to make an offer because it's the Eagles. But I don't think at the end of the day they're going to be the team that makes it happen. Just because there's a lot of question marks. People are like, you got the capital to move it. Yeah, you do, but you're setting yourself up if Jalen's not the guy. You're not just. Yeah, you don't I mean, have the capital just to move it. You have it for security. I feel like they're being financially responsible. Yeah. And. and I just feel like, and who knows, you know, we could be on here in a couple of weeks and go, wow, we didn't see that coming. But I just feel like they're doing it the right way. They're I think gonna, so, they're too. Gonna, they're going to build through the draft. Yep. They're going to pick up some free agents, you yep. know. There's going to be guys out there. Howie's notorious for finding those guys. Yeah. One-year, two-year deals. Bring somebody in. You know, there's still that honey badger rumor. Yeah. Who, knows? who knows what's, what's going, going on? on He's, there? That's just like died. You know, 
who knows if if you know that kid from Notre Dame's on the board yet yeah. when we get I, there's, there. There's so who many. Knows? I've seen so many things. I've seen uh, Mel Kuyper last week, right after we've recorded on Thursday. His mock draft was Alave and Nakobe Dean, which would be the ideal. Oh, I think that would make wow. everyone happy. But yeah. I also saw today them trading up for Sauce Gardner. I saw them, um, like, I saw everything. Like you said, if that Kyle Hamilton kid's there, yeah. that's a need, yeah. and he's a good player. Yeah. There is a lot of question marks kind of where it falls. Because, and they, I mean, there's talk that that dude's dropping. You yeah. Know, he, if he falls in our lap, we... I, I even almost feel like you see where Stingley is. I, I, there's a lot of question marks because no one knows. Like a lot of it's very fluctuating where people are sitting at. When you look at mock drafts, I don't know how deep you guys look into mock drafts, but it is very inconsistent. Usually, like it's yeah. pretty nailed, but very fluent between people's mock drafts of who's people taking. But it has been nothing like that this season. And that makes it even more interesting. And we're sitting at some good spots. You know they are, I mean? 100%. We're, we're going to end up, we should end up with some studs. Yes. Two studs. No, I agree. If we stay at the, if we stay or we move up or whatever they got going, we should end up with two studs. And like we talked about before, we've got to end up with two hits. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, you got 10 picks here. Got to be a home run. And you got to nail on, I would say, at least four. Uh, at least, I would say at least three, hopefully four. Because I, I get once you get down to the later drafts, it's kind of just throwing a, like, it's throwing a dart at the wall. And I know some people can nail it, but the Eagles historically don't do that. So you got to hit on the picks you got. And I I don't know. I have this odd faith in them this year. I Obviously, when draft day comes around, it's going to be very anxious as the Jags open up and we got like two hours to wait until the birds come up. But... I, I, I have a strange confidence in them. I just feel like, I, I don't know. I feel like Saucy has brought some youth and some enthusiasm and some energy and and brought some new, like, let's go get some players, man. You yeah. know? Like, last year we went out and we got Devontae. Yeah. You know? I don't think we're done yet as far as building on that offense. But... He's realistic and, you know, he knows Gannon needs weapons as well. That, that's what I mean. You know? That's where you look at I the Debo thing. People are going to be screaming for Debo. and But that's where I step back again and I'm like, all right, he's a good player. He's a young kid. He, will be, he would be a focal point on this offense. He would do a lot. He would match up well and fit into this scheme well. The thing is, you got the capital, but do you want to put the capital out there without knowing where the rest stands? There's still so many holes in this team as if we want to admit it or not and i still believe that howie like this whole offseason even though people have been frustrated that they're not going out and doing this stuff because they want to be they have gotta, that cap plan, when they right? want to use it feels like they have a plan and they don't want to just get a band-aid they want to freaking add some artillery to this team you know and, and build it the right way i mean for the long you know we we got it. We knew we knew when Dougie left, we had to get young. No, right? yeah, we were screaming that for years that this team was old, and it still is old. But now they need to. They have injected it with youth. We saw that last year on the offensive side of the ball, and you try and do that again this year with the defensive side of the ball. I still think defense needs to be the focal point of the draft. That. As the closer we get, the more I feel like that has shifted a little bit. It does feel like the wide receiver is going to happen at some point, and I would say in, in the first two rounds probably. Um, I don't have an issue with that if you hit it. You know what I mean? If you put a guy that's going to go nicely with Devontae, I don't have an issue with it. Right. I They still have success. They still have faith that Quez is going to have success. Quez is still young. You have a shot with him. I mean, you got to move on. You got that Pascal kid coming in you see what happens and you, we're, we're coming into another year where are we committed to Jalen or not that's you where know, I mean it's... that's where I that's where I have been so hesitant with making these big time moves because I think a lot of the fan base sees okay Jalen's the guy and okay so we have those draft picks but let's go make those moves because we have those draft picks now the the organization I can tell you is having those picks as insurance policies if Jalen doesn't work out. So they're not just going to move them 
to move them because they're not a move away from no. winning something. No. Debo is not coming in here and all of a sudden they're a Super Bowl contender. Right. They right. need to right. we need still build. Pieces. Exactly. Right. And you, if you go out and make that move, you hinder because you're going to have to give away picks. You're going to have to give away a player. And then you're going to have to pay him. Right now, yeah. where the Eagles stand, none of that is positive other than getting the player. Everything else is going to hinder them. Correct. So that's kind of where we stand. That's where I stand. I, I still I think the offseason has been successful, even though it hasn't been sexy other than um, Hassan Reddick. And I think that Kaiser White guy has a, a lot of potential. And I think you've done a little small things. And if the draft goes well next week, Hey, then I think maybe you got something. Still a little uneasy, nervous, yep. Yep. you know. It is what it is. It's yep. the Eagles on the clock. And yep. that is scary. Exactly. Yeah. It's going to be scary once we get close to it. It's 100%. I mean, 15, not a terrible weight, but it's a little bit of a weight. And then you got one not that long after if they decide to, what happens. You know what I mean? We, we have to see if they eventually do take both or if they move back again or... Yeah. where they really are we'll have to see who knows hopefully there's a little more clarity as we're here next week but next week we'll be back and it'll be draft week yes it will. it'll be time Maybe. to sit down it's watch here. the draft and get excited so we've talked about it for how long now and it's it's almost here and then the draft and then it feels like football season is going to be there like that it'll yeah. be the summer and then september yeah it'll be interesting it'll be exciting so we'll be back next wednesday as always uh gearing up for the draft so thank you guys always for watching Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Fly, Eagles, fly. Go, birds.